Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Monica with M. Sean Plans. And today I am going to walk you through my fitness planner. All right, we're not even gonna do the whole intro thing. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into it. So this is my fitness planner. This is the um, Sterling Inc. 2024. I was fixing to say 2021. <laughs> um, in one planner, but it is the one with not, not as many pages like if you get the full year like I use for my um, everyday planning you have the monthly the weekly and then you have an additional 369 pages but this one you only have 121 pages as you can see I do a test page in all my planners all right so this is my fitness planner I've had it for a about a month and I've been using it very faithfully and let me zoom you in just a little bit all right so this is how I have been using the planner well first let me start off by saying this is what I was using I was using my Hobonichi weeks planner and it worked for me somewhat um, I would divide it out but as you and I, you know, even did my little habits chart here. But if you've been around for a little bit, you know, I write kind of big. <laughs> and although this is idea for, and this was my birthday week, look, <laughs> I wasn't worried about nothing. Um, <laughs> I write kind of big, so I needed the space to write big, and it was a struggle to get this in the way I wanted it to. So I decided to go ahead and just do the TN size planner from Sterling Inc. And I kind of incorporated what I did here over here. So here, and this is just a week. Let me go back to one that is, oh, well, all right. So the week of June 3rd, and I went back and I um, backdated um because i think this was the actual yeah this was the last week i actually documented in this planner and i went back and backdated for june so i had all of my meals on one side and then my apple watch rings um stats and then i had whatever workouts i was doing here and as you can tell it is tight in here and i don't like that i can't stand that it it, it feels crowded and overwhelming so to do something and then I had like my to-do list like take before pictures for the month of June um, get my measurements and then I had like a weekly focus and then I had my grocery list things that I needed to buy just for myself as far as for me to meal plan and work with and then I did my habits I kind of created a little chart my meds a.m. and p.m. Then I hydrate every day do my journal you know because this is also going to double as my mental health planner as well my prayer journal my bible and then my skincare again it's tight like when i say tight it's like this so although it was serving the purpose it was overwhelming because i'm having to squint in even with glasses to see what I am writing. So I ended up switching to this. And again, this is the um, full year. This is the compact planner, in one compact. And I just decorated from with some stickers from my um, cloth and paper mini friends book that I've had for a long time. I don't know if she still sells, it, sells this on her website, but I did not put any goals I decided to use this as kind of like my tracker for YouTube, but of course y'all can see I didn't keep up with it. It is July. Your girl didn't do anything. So let's go back and let's redo the week of the third. Okay, so I was able to do all of my rings here, move exercise stand, put all of my workouts here and still have enough room to where it is not overwhelming. And I even put a focus here, but you'll see in a minute, I did away with that. And then my meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I did not do a good job of tracking my meals. 
and then my habits meds am pm hydrate journal prayer bible skin my makeshift grocery list my weekly focus uh, <laughs> anyway i don't care um and then my week so for this particular week which was the very next week again a lot had happened this particular week so um as you can see i kind of did the same thing but i got rid of the daily focus okay and then i just made a weekly focus and a, and a weight so let's go to the week i really 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 did my thing <laughs> i still got to go back and update it and the day one through day seven i'm challenging myself for 90 days okay so june 17th was my day one 90 days and 90 days of workouts and i have not I'm, I'm not starting over i'm going all the way through okay like on day four and day five i didn't get to work out um i think yeah this was the week i had to pick up my mom from the hospital and i got sick those last two days so i did not get to work out um I worked out that morning, but we, I ended up taking the kids to Dave and Buster's and then I worked out that day. I just didn't vlog my workout. So I have my grocery list. I have like an inspirational sticker here, all of my habits. And then this week, I got to go back and back date. So this is week days eight through 14. And then I tried to kind of like, did I hit my goals every day? But you know yeah <laughs> and then we days 15 through 21 um, I'm still updating because right now it is Saturday the 6th I'm bulk filming today so I'm gonna go back and fill this in um, my grocery list so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna set up this week so this would be week let's see one two three this is week four of my challenge this is going to be week four of my challenge okay so i usually just use a regular pen in this book because i'm not trying to use fountain pen i'm not trying to be all cute and fancy so this is going to be week four of my challenge okay so this is week four. So again, I just have, I write move. And then once I exercise, and that's, you know, how many minutes you've set up to exercise for. And then your stand time. You know, Apple tracks all of that. All right, and then over here, I just labeled this workout. And then these are my meals. And then it's just breakfast, lunch, dinner. I I chose the hourly layout as opposed to the horizontal just so I can see um, I, I may go back to the horizontal next year but I'm going to finish this year out um, with the hourly and when I'm done setting this page up I will show you the um, notes pages that I set up in this planner but this is ha this has been working for me so far I absolutely love this planner it is this this format has been working for me as far as you know keeping up with my workouts making sure I'm hitting my goal targets and all that stuff although you know you may not see it reflect here but it does <laughs> it, it helps so now I'm just going to do my habits and I usually do this around about the nine o'clock hour 
and this is just kind of a, the the hour is kind of a guide to where I do everything or write everything down. And then I have Monday skip a box, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I have, let's see, my meds. And that slash, because I do AM and PM. And I just put a little dot there if I've taken my medication that morning and then that evening. Meds hydrate. And then journal. Bible. Prayer. Skin. And this is a new one that I'm adding, which is bed by 9.30. I have a goal to get in the bed by 9.30 every night. So we're just gonna put bed by 9.30. Because nine o'clock is unrealistic for me. <laughs> so if I make my day productive, I know I can get in the bed by 9.30. All right, and then here is my grocery list. And then I do my focus over here. And then my weight. And now we once a week on Sunday mornings. So, and I'll go back and finish writing that. But this is the bare bones of the setup. So, and then I'll go through here and I'll find some, some cute little stickers. Like, I like this one. She's cute. <laughs> I just go through my books and I, I end up getting two because why not? <laughs> I wish she still sold these, but I don't think she does. Um, at least, let me put it this way. When I went to the site a couple of weeks ago to look for it, she didn't have it. And her stickers are, these stickers are vinyl stickers. So I just kinda, there we go. And then I also have this, little sticker holder book with a lot of other stickers in it. I think this is mostly from Gold Mine and Coco. And then I have some from Lemon and Honey Studios, which I don't think she's open anymore. I don't think so. So let's see. Rings Tracker. Yeah. I got those. And then weight stickers. Yeah, I think I used that one. Um, it says, I live so I don't choke people. So, I think I'll use this one this week. Go heavy or go home. Um, I think I'll put that here. Go heavy or go home. Um, so, I kind of want to do that again this week. Um, my rings tracker, did I hit my goal for every day on my rings tracker? And I call this, did I hit it? <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I call this, did I hit it? Okay, and that's just if I close my rings for that day. And that's my goal is to close my rings and then write down my stats. Um, let's see here. Mm, I do have some more stickers here. Let's see one of these. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Didn't realize I had these. So these are cute. 
I like those weights, they match her. So we'll use these. And I love kettlebell exercises, you guys. And my goal is to kind of hit the gym every day. All right. So on Sundays, I do meal prep for myself. And if you want to see a video on what I meal prep, please let me know and I will definitely get that for you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to find a few more elements in here and then we are going to call this complete for this particular spread. Let's see here. Inhale, exhale. This is yoga centered. I want to get into yoga, but yeah, <laughs> there are no yoga classes near me. So I like the water bottle. So we will use this. Again, this sticker book is quite telling. So we'll use her there. And then I want to find a quote to kind of go right here. Mm. Or a sticker. I think I'm going to use this washi sheet and I'll just put, I'll cut out, take care of yourself. And I probably could have left that in the book, but it's okay. No big deal. I know it's not green, but it's okay. <laughs> it's the quote that counts. And I'm going to put it. I had it and then it moved. There we go. Take care of yourself. All right. And so as I do my workout, I do have like leg day, um, shoulder day or arm day, um, cardio. You know, I will definitely put that in. So let's go back and let's look at our notes pages so once the if i can get to it <laughs> in the back you get several notes pages and i like to use those for different things and i have um here some goals so i set this up for my goals so i have my short-term goals, and then my long-term goals. My short-term goals, of course, to lose 75 pounds. Um, I did have VSG surgery in 2018, so I have re started reincorporating those habits. Again, exercise daily. Um, and then my long-term goals, of course, is to maintain my workout schedule, maintain my meal plan, and of course, maintain my weight loss. And then here are some of my favorite meals and then I just have a running grocery list things that I would like to keep on hand to help me um, maintain and continue to lose weight and to continue with my healthy lifestyle this is not a journey because sometimes journeys come to an end this is a lifestyle which means I am adapting this for life okay and then I have like some of my favorite recipes um, I don't have them broken up into breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This is just as I come across them. I do have the recipe for egg roll in a bowl. I just got to put it in here. Um, I have that recipe for egg and olive. One of my former um, co-workers who is really, really like my mentor. I can call on her for anything. She brought this to work one day and it was smashing. And I was like, you've got to give me the recipe for that. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to also put pictures in as I make these meals. And then my breakfast taco. So, and then along with the directions. So I have that up until page maybe 
99 and then on page 100 are my before and after and then my measurements I did not get to take pictures in June so we're gonna you know whatever I did take a before picture in July and I do my front my sides and my back and then I'll take you know July 1st and then July 31st how I look and then of course August and then I have that all the way until December I'm sorry I'm trying to get there <laughs> and then of course I have my yearly stats where I started from where I ended up how did I improve things like that and then these are just some random pages and then I, of course I have my test page <laughs> and I just decided just to use a regular pen and paper and our regular pen in this book because again I'm not trying to make this cute or aesthetic this is pure functional for me with minimal decoration in my planner but that is a walkthrough of my fitness planner I hope you guys really enjoy this video thank you for joining me today I greatly greatly appreciate it. hopefully this inspires you to you know create your own healthy lifestyle not saying you have to adopt mine I'm not adopting anyone else's I have catered this towards me and my goals and my body type and where I want to see myself in six months a year 10 years from now so yeah um, again thank you for joining me today um, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. If you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications. That way you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. Again, thank you so much. And in the meantime, in between time, you guys be safe, be blessed, and have a wonderful day. Bye.